With VIP 3D, VizTerra, and Pool Studio, you can create and customize pergolas to offer your clients a shady area in their project. This video will review the many features of the pergola tool. We'll start by going to the custom shape and pergola stage. To create a pergola, simply draw the shape to the desired dimensions. We're creating a pergola around the client's home using the line and outline tools, following the existing hardscape. Once complete, we'll make sure the pergola option is selected in the panel instead of shape. Any shapes drawn in this stage can be switched between custom shape and pergola at any time in 2D. Once we're in 3D, we'll see the pergola right away. To adjust its appearance, simply double click on any given section. As we double click on each section of the pergola, the panel menu updates to show the options available for that section. We can even click on the various pieces in the panel menu to switch as well. First, we'll adjust the pergola's height until it's just under the roof line of the house. Now it's time to add some details and review many of the options we have available. We'll double left click on the slats on top to select them. In the panel menu, we can turn slats off if only building with rafters and supports, but for our design we'll keep them on. We have settings for spacing, thickness, height, and inset or how far the slat cuts into the rafter. As we adjust these settings, we'll see them update immediately in 3D. We can select individual slats and move them, delete them, and use the Add Slat option to add additional slats we may need. Below our slats, we have our rafters. Once selected, we can adjust spacing, thickness, height, and the inset of our rafters, as well as add more rafters at any time. We have an option to rotate the framing as well, and we can use Move to adjust the position of the rafters. With any of our layers, we can press the Reset button to undo any manual changes. Our pergola is built next to our house, so for added support, we'll turn on the House Ledger option. This will add a ledger board along the house wherever the pergola attaches. Next, we have our rafter supports, along with spacing, thickness, and height settings. We also have the option to use a double support, or when turned off, a single support. In this design, we have two sets of rafter supports based on our spacing, but we only need one. We can adjust the spacing, or select the rear support, delete it, and then move the remaining support to be closer to the edge of our pergola, all while in 3D. Lastly, we'll adjust our columns. In the panel, we'll see options to set the columns to square or round, as well as spacing, thickness, and the ability to add columns and move them as needed. In our design, we'll need three columns to support our structure. There's one final setting available for each of our layers. The profile setting allows you to adjust the end of the board's appearance. Simply select the layer, such as rafters, and click the profile option to open the library. We can double click to apply any style to the selected layer. We can do the same with rafter supports and slats as well. To restore to a flat end, simply click the X next to the profile option. We can even create our own custom profile. Simply draw the profile in 2D and save to the board profile category in the library. Back in 3D, we can now apply this customized style to our structure. Next, we can pick our finishes. We'll go to the material stage and access the wood category. We can select any part of the pergola to adjust its appearance. Each section can have a unique material applied to it. The next pergola we create will remember these choices and automatically apply them. Our work is complete and we're ready to share it with our client. We're big fans of this pergola, so we can even save it to the library to insert in another project. When we're ready to print, in construction markup we'll see rafters, rafter supports, and columns. We can adjust the line style and fill pattern for the overall structure as well. Thanks for watching! Please let us know if you have any questions by calling 800-778-8996 or emailing support at structurestudios.com.